All right, well, I just got some stuff in from Mako. I wanted to show y'all, pretty jazzed. Um, main thing, I just need more bands for the spear guns. Um, one little trick I have for them that I doubt I'm the first person to come up with this, but when you make them yourself, Mako has all the stuff to do it, but whenever you do it, get the wishbone in here and you get the little ties off. See so if you can see it. You just leave them on there and don't crimp them down until you need them. Um, I did these probably four months ago and there's really no damage to the rubber. And so this way you get them all ready. I have a little loop set tied at the ends. And so that when you do need them, you just vice them down. And that way, it's just kind of a way to have little rubber bands sitting around just ready to go without you damaging them. This is my, my new toy. This is their big game traveler pulse here. And so this is really a heavy duty kind of setup here. Um, these rods, I saw the other review on these on the, the regular one. Um, I think he was saying those are hollow. This really it's probably hollow, but it has some weight to it. It's pretty pretty stout. Um, I went ahead, I bought the little five prong guy with it. That just screws in here. They have a ton of attachments for these though. They have the slip tips, they have the single flopper, double flopper, they have everything. So, But I just want to show y'all real quick kind of what it looks like. So, but they are pretty, pretty fantastic. And you can always do just one, or you can have two of them on here like that. Um, and the rubber bands are really easy to switch. They're nice enough. They send you two, two different rubber bands. And so one is for if you're just doing a short setup like this, instead of a long. You screw those together. The other thing I just bought, and this is kind of spoiling myself a little bit, this is their 7mm 3D Reef wetsuit. Um, I have the Skin Guard, which I really love for the summer. And that's because a lot of the times I'm diving on these artificial reefs and it's just the rusted up metal and it's covered in barnacles. And if I get near the things, I end up just all cut up. And I never noticed it at the time, it's always later. And so that rash guard really helps. And I've even worn the thing surfing <laughs> just to keep my chest from getting rubbing on the board. Um, I love my three mil, I've had it for three years. The only wear and tear that you can see on it at all is that some of the stitching on the seams is starting to come off. And that's really, you just kind of need to get ahead of it and just melt it off, cut it and melt it off so it doesn't keep fraying. Because if you yank on it, then it just zzz, and comes out. And I've done that too. <laughs> so this is a 7 mil. This sucker is thick. Um, the coldest it gets here that I've dived is about 38 degrees. And that is damn nippy. Um, and if you check out my channel, you know that I do a lot of scuba diving also. Not just free diving. And so I'm planning on using this for scuba diving throughout the, throughout the winter also. And that way I can stay down longer. And I really didn't want to do the traditional, was it the closed cell suits? I really didn't want to do one of those. I have an O'Neill, one of those four to five, and it was great for a few years. Um, these wetsuits are just so much more comfortable. Just the, I love the two pieces. I don't think I'll ever go back to the, the traditional scuba suit. So, but I just want to show y'all what I got. But these, this wetsuit's great. I can't wait to throw it on. The water temp here is still in the mid 60s, so I think it actually might be a little too warm for this. Um, if it's too warm, I'll either throw on my three mil this weekend, or I'm actually thinking I can mix and match them. The camos won't match, but I, I don't really care what I look like. Um, so I can always throw on the seven mil bottoms just to keep the important things warm. And then after that, I'll throw on my three mil top. And so I'd still have the extra flexibility in the top where I want it, but you know, my ass and everything will be nice and warm. <laughs> so. That's what I'm just kind of tossing around. We'll see what the weather does this weekend. Um, the forecast was one foot seas and now it's four foot seas. So we'll see. All right, well, let me know if y'all have any questions on Mako gear. I own way too much of it. <laughs> um, and I'll be happy to help out. Thank you.